year did you come to Harlow and why did you come to Harlow? I came in 2012, March 2012, and I came because I had an opportunity to move anywhere I wanted. So, so why did you choose Harlow? Um, because, well, I had a few options. I either go over the bridge and move into Kent. Um, so when you say over the bridge, I think we should start as, where were you living? Oh, I lived in Thorock. So, yeah, I could either go over to the Dartford side of the bridge, um, but that means you travel every day, and then when that goes wrong, travel's terrible or use the ferry, um, or I could go to Basildon area, which I sort of didn't really fancy, and then the next stop along the motorway is Harlow, with an easy connection, so that's where I am here. And that's 2012, and now five years later you're still here? Yes. So, so why, why have you stayed? Uh, oh, it's lovely. Uh, it's got open space, it's got the river if you want to walk down it, it's got shops that aren't too busy, but they're all right, they've got everything I need, and it's quiet. There's no, in well there is industry, but it's not in your face and on your doorstep, it's, there's loads of green. So as, as the uh, publisher of your Thark and your Harlow, I can yeah. sort of, I'm very much relate to, to what you're talking about, but do you see Harlow as very, you mentioned, you mentioned open space, and my in person I interviewed Esther at, uh, uh, before you, you know, um, she mentioned open space, and is that really important to you? Yes, without a doubt. I like to be outdoors. And it's all for if you can't just go for a walk or be able to ride your bike without having to cross the road every five minutes. So yeah, there's there's more space and open parks here than there is in Thorough. And and have you got in, I mean, we've met through the park run. Yes. You mentioned open spaces. That's right. And certain hills. Um, <laughs> and you, do you enjoy that? Do you, do you enjoy doing things? Are you involved in the community, so to speak? Uh, no, and not at all. I go to park run. That's it. That's me. And, uh, else. That's all right. It's not. It's not obligatory, isn't oh, it? But, no. but, um, but you, as you said, you enjoy the walks. But you still work in Thurrock. Yes, I work in Thurrock. Work for the council. Isn't we won't talk about Thurrock Council because I have another website that does that. Um, but that travelling is that not a challenge? Uh, it, it was when the roadworks are here. Um, but now the roadworks are gone. It's quite. It's quite all right. I start early. I start at either six or seven in the morning. So I'm quite good for traffic. It only takes me about forty-five minutes. The worst bit is getting out of Harlow onto the M11, the bit of the four one four up by the BP garage. Oh, it's awful. Um, but travelling back, it doesn't matter because I'm coming home. That's a good. That's a good way of seeing it. And you get used to all these different rat runs, don't yes, you? you do, become, yeah. become a traffic bore. But like me, a bit. I become a traffic bore and talk people about these rat runs. Yes. But, um, yeah. So it, you came in 2012. You came you're here in 2017. Do you think if we come back in 2022, you might still be here? If I yes, I think I will. There's no way I'll go back to Farrock ever. Why not? Um, because here is just so much nicer. It's, and I'm away from work. My job is quite, I'm quite, uh, not well known, but if you wear a Farrock Council badge, everyone seems to want to talk to you. If I wear a Farrock Council badge here, yeah, no one cares. So I'm away from work, but here is just my opportunity to be free. And do you see Farrock, I'm, I'm learning a bit from yourself here, you know, even though I've, I've worked in Farrock, you know, for 11 years, you know, but do you see Farrock as more of an industrial area, South Essex yes. industrial? without a doubt. That if you want a job, go to Farrock. If you want open space, don't go to Farrock because it's either houses or industry. That's it. There's nothing. There is other stuff, but there's not loads. Not as much as Harlow can offer, I don't think. And, and living in Harlow, though, did you go to other places in Harlow? I mean, you mentioned you don't... You don't Get involved if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I used to go to Waltham Abbey quite a lot. That's nice. My boyfriend comes from Chesant, so we go over there. That's a nice area. It's quite open, but it's quite busy as well. So this this is just central to everything that like my life revolves around. In conclusion, if there's anybody in Farrakh who's thinking about moving to Harlow, people moving to Harlow have their doubts. How would what would you what would you say? If you're going to move here and not travel, you would never need a car because the infrastructure for footways and cycle tracks are second to none. I've never known anything like it. So that's brilliant. You can get all around the whole of Harlow without needing a car. Um, I don't know about the schools, but there seems to be loads of them. And like outdoor space is great, especially if you're into water sports. We're quite close to the river, so that's good. Um, that's all right. Do you, see, do you see Harlow as a cleaner place than Thorough? I think so. It seems it, but I think that's because you haven't got to drive too far to find that you're driving in an open space. Yet yeah, in Thurrock, it's always 
houses on top of roads everywhere you go. And until you go out to like the London area. Or Bolvan and all Bolvan and all yeah, but you've got to have loads of money to go out there. I'm just, I don't have loads of money. <laughs> <laughs> but you're glad you moved to Harlow and you're going to stay. Yes, without doubt.